Oh boy. I like the ones where you compete with Hunter and he's running around like a jackass. Look at him. He looks like a Rat Boy Genius character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get this You know, this maybe I am like starting that. to get it. Maybe I am starting to get it. Crystal Popcorn, that's stupid. Like Michael. Oh, it's did like you guys a, hear that is, dank joke? This is like a Mario Party game. Yeah, and it's really annoying because this is another case where the camera really should be overhead, you know? Instead of like behind the back. This is the Mario Party game that everybody groans when they see it. <laughs> it totally is. Like when I played this in January, I hated this mini game. Because we're, we're, we only finished phase one, Wine yeah, Friend. Is there a harder for Yep. Yeah. Michael just sat up in his chair. That's when you know it's going to get serious. Like, tribal, he has like a tribal sleeve. He does. Wow. Or maybe it's a tattoo? Well, yeah, that's what you call When you tattoo your entire arm, it's called a sleeve. Yeah. Although, granted, that's just like his bicep now that I'm looking at it. I don't know if that counts. Well, it I'm does look different from his other arm. That much of a tattoo mon mon like Monster Man. I don't know how Monster Man came into the mix. I got killed by the Spiky Man! Everybody our fucking age loves tattoos. Really? It seems like it, yeah. yeah. The, all the normal- let me take that back, the normal people don't do nothing but play video games and go out and be cool with a K as they say. But if you stay home, play video games, and watch internet content, like like Jeb, all of the people <laughs> watching this and us, <laughs> then what a reference! What do you mean, like, like Jeb? Jeb? Oh, the white hooded gamer. Yeah, the white hooded gamer. Yeah, and then for him, it definitely starts with a K. You know, because <laughs> he's like oh. fucking racist. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> he said something. I I guess one of the one of my questions of the day was. Is the Jew joke, are they going too far? And he said some sort of like deep shit. Fuck! He was like, it's always been too far. But in like a, and in like a way that I was like, you are a profound man. It's Jigarino. always been the Jews. I know. From the very beginning, the like all the original thing. diseases up to the terrorist attacks nowadays, it's been those filthy Jews the whole well, that's, time. I say that because historically that's where all the Jew hate really started. Because they, because, okay, here's the deal. People didn't like Jewish people, and I'm guessing it. a lot of it has to do with the fact that they were just Jews and most people that, like, culturally, like, led up to our... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> were, Chris, were, like, Christian. So they were different, and therefore, we don't like them, because that's how humans work, right? So I imagine that's where it really started, but where it was, just like, actual, actually became, like, a obvious, like, identifiable like malicious thing was during the black plague because not as many jewish people were getting it because people kept their distance from the jews right so oh, so, so it's germ a theory prophecy yeah exactly and they're like why aren't they getting the black plague and we are they must have started it because we're idiots and human humans are idiots in general like i like i always say and by i i mean somewhere i heard this Humans are idiots. A human can be a not idiot. Except I said that grammatically correct when I said it the first time <laughs> that it was said. A person can be stupid. People are no wait. A person can be smart and people. People are can be stupid and a person is dumb. No. <laughs> no. You still like you're saying seat. complete gibberish. No. People are stupid. Like in general, when you, people are in groups, people, the mentality, people. Yeah. People are stupid. A person can be smart. That's what I was trying. To, I was trying to say, and not. I heard that somewhere. <laughs> you know, when I practiced that, I did in my giggle, first try. I giggle at some of my jokes sometimes, guys. When it's I'm watching Michael play Star Fox shit. Adventures slash Fire Two, who knows? Because they're the same game. They're both weird and have terrible mini games. Um, I think to myself, Crystal Popcorn, and then I slap myself and say, "Of course." Who doesn't love Crystal Popcorn? It's my favorite episode of ba Breaking Bad. <laughs> crystal Popcorn. Just follow Hunter around and steal his. No, shit. that doesn't work. I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta get on, you gotta get in a good thing. Oh, but yeah? he always wins. How many times have you lost, you dirty something? <laughs> something you say? Yeah, you dirty Michael. You're really dirty. Worst insult. 
Yeah, you dirty Jewish fucking <laughs> noodle kugel having motherfucker. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a joke, guys. Get it? <laughs> Holy shit, school. Do you think? Do you think? E even five years ago, that I'd have to say it's a joke every time. What do you mean? Because it seems like just within the last few years that people have become hypersensitive. Yeah, well. Especially online. But I suppose you don't keep track of anything that happens in the world, even in the medium that you do, you spend most of your life involved in. You're like, what's Gamergate? I don't even yeah. know how you'd be on the internet and not, like, have a well, vague I, idea of what it is. I just guess I was just never curious enough. But that's, that's like, something that is hard to avoid, and yet you don't even have, like, a clue about, like, what's well, happening. Well, how did you find like, out about statement. it? That's what I'm saying! It's impossible not to! YouTube how comments! Did you any find... sort of social media! YouTube videos! It's impossible not to! People talking in general, podcasts, let's plays, anything! Michael! Alright, well, I have- I barely- I don't listen to any podcasts. Please! You don't listen- you don't do anything on the internet. You just upload. You, like, make the videos and upload them. Yeah. And it's- it's magical. I- I mean, I respect it, but... It's just amazing sometimes how I'm like, Hey, Michael. Here's the thing that everybody knows about, and you're like, what? Yeah. It's just confusing, it's just confusing sometimes, that's all. I bet Carl Pilkington doesn't know what Gamergate is. Well, no. I mean, I'm willing to bet that a lot of your average man does. But, when, if you're the type of person who goes on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, or even, even in this case, even if you're just involved in Twitter or Facebook, you would have heard about it. Oh, that was bef- I think that was before I was on Twitter. That's what I'm saying. Like... You can, I mean, that's just one example. It seems like... Any internet phenomenon. Do you know what Twitch Plays Pokemon was? Yeah, I do know what that is, and I know about Lord Helix. <laughs> um... Just stuff like... Stuff like that it feels like it's hit or miss. Like, you- I wouldn't have blinked an eye if you had said no. But everybody else would like her. That was a long time ago. I don't know why I'm. You've heard of Pokemon Go, right? Now that's something that you don't have to be a fucking. Yeah. That's a nerd, but it's almost hey, like. Eric, not even do you know if Dad ever caught that Charminar? He did. He did catch a Charminar, and then he closed the app and played. He never touched it again. I was just surprised to see him. Because our dad is not that type, and I looked over and I saw that Niantic or whatever. Niantic. Or that's pronounced. Our, our mom, mom gave like, him are shit. Are you serious? And my mom said, "Are you serious?" <laughs> Jason, are you really playing Pokemon Go? And he's like, "What?" <laughs> but he knew. <laughs> he's that kind of guy. I guess we have to get it from somewhere. He he got mad when our nonsense. sister wore a P Pikachu shirt. Yeah, he did. Slubby. What the hell is that? <laughs> even I, even everybody, including our mom, was like, "It's not Pokemon is like a thing." And apparently, our sister even got compliments. And this was before Pokemon Go, I think. No, Pokemon Go was around at the time. Okay. Well, whatever. She had the sweatshirt before Pokemon Things Go. Were which is the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were her, getting it's weird to think her you. first game way, was Pokemon was for the party Black or White. I, I don't know which one. It more. Can can you know it's weird? What generation Gen Five? Gen 5 is weird. Yeah. Because they're two games. And then they're just called Black 2 and White 2. I didn't play those. Those are like the only... That's... that's like the I, only. I, I haven't played that either. I played Pokemon in Black, I think. But I didn't beat it. It won't be the same without party hats. Well, Eric, we gotta go kill all the lava monsters and get the party what's, hats back. What's, what's interesting about Pokemon is that... Like so that Hitler would have played it if he was around. Agreed. Uh, <laughs> yes, while he was watching Harry Potter and worshiping Satan. Um, <laughs> oh god! But anyway, with with Pokemon, it's like a lot of people say Gen Three is the weird one, right? Yeah. A lot of older people who remember the first gen or whatever, right? Yeah. But then I feel the same way. I get the same feeling. 
about like five. Like I barely remember any of the Pokemon from five. My sister was like, my first Pokemon was an Oshawa. Matt, yeah, Matt, and since Maddie's first was it Gen five, so yeah. it's just like I feel like Pokemon. It's just like whatever the best one is or whatever just really comes down to your age. Yeah, but I will say that you might Gen say it's generational. Gen <laughs> Gen six is actually, I would say it's gensational. Um, <laughs> the thing, Gen six was actually like interesting though. I felt like it changed enough. Uh, I know that you don't you with the different. Uh, I mean, there are differences, have, but it's just like preconceptions that you could not, in any conceivable fashion. I played the whole thing. Debunk. I beat the champion. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but did you really do much? Did you just play through it and beat the champion? Yeah, because that's, that's all I was interested in doing. There was nothing else. Let to me do. guess. Let me guess. I don't you care just, about the competitive you used exclusively scene. Exclusively attack moves. Yeah. Well. Okay. So if you ignore the competitive scene, you ignore all the presentation, and uh, well, I mean, like I could tell. Also ignore all the other features of it. Then I guess, yeah, it is pretty much the same game if you ignore everything new. Isn't that right? I'm saying that it didn't do enough new to me okay. to feel like a worthy and like. I'm worthy. It's not worthy. It's, it is worthy it's not installment, worthy but it's just like it didn't do enough new for me to really justify playing what is essentially the same thing that I've already played. Well, if you. And I mean, like, I, I even understand. even had a new type. That's yeah, but it didn't really change Gen, anything. Gen 2, since I brought in new types. What do you mean it didn't change anything? That's nonsense. That's I mean, like, as far nonsense, as I know, the fairy, all the fairy type does is just give something else to use against dragons. <laughs> well, yeah. That's... No, it's an entirely new type in it. Well, what, what's, what does it add? Okay, think about it, Michael. Rock, paper, scissors, right? What happens when you introduce a fourth one? How many more options does it make? Wait, that's a bad analogy. That's a bad connection. I get, but I get you get the, the idea that with every, with every type you add, you have to increase the square by one, so it exponentially increases in, in like interaction. Yeah. I mean, that's not the case since not all types have a yes or no, like. Super effective or not effective or whatever, but that being said, it's subs it's sub fucking hey, substantial. Eric, guess what? Someone fucking dies. I would believe it. I would believe that three out of the four of these things get crushed by a meteor. Oh no, I, I, that, I was wrong. That one just malicious. That was just fucking murder. violent. That was just a malicious murder. What's the joke there? What's the joke? There murder. isn't one. And the you know joke what? was that the fucking thing died. So like when I w I was like you know replaying this in you know January, funny? And it's just like I'm realizing that all of these cuts for my presidential campaign. You know, it'd be funny if as if we have a little picture, a little picture Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, that little rat woman, <laughs> and she has she has black eyes. She so she looks like a demon. <laughs> I don't know what my Donald Trump impression is. I just know that everybody has one, so we have to have a Donald Trump impression. Michael, you are not providing. So, you know what I hate about this screen? How un-American it is. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like I'm watching Aladdin. That anti-American movie. Aladdin. I hate it. What is that? What are fucking roids? Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's the thief level. That's unfortunate. I bet we're going to see. You might say his judgment was hip poor. Hand. What up? <laughs> that was a pretty bad. Oh damn! Oh damn! I wonder if they're if if fucking C Foro the the, the brown owl is in this level and he's the big bad guy. <laughs> That's a reference to Bombo, the fucking flag keeper, or whatever the fuck that racist caricature's name was. And not a malicious, not an exclusively malicious. Part of a malicious breakfast. <laughs> Part of a malicious breakfast. Hey, hey, what you do know, you think of Turban Woman? <laughs> I, you know, I should probably not do the. I, I can, I can do the Donald Trump impressions, but maybe just not on this level. Is what I'm saying. What do you mean? Because <laughs> there's, there's, there's ammo all over the place. I mean, look. 
Just look. Open your eyes. Yeah. I won't. I won't continue. I, I'm done. Watch out for the. Uh, this is just like. This is the first time you see thieves. Thieves. Oh, I mean, they don't even look like the thieves you're used to seeing. Yeah, but still. Does does the pilot of any cartoon show ever look like the other episodes? Uh. Well, I mean, like the the, the there blue are egg thieves. thieves but I'm saying there are both types. Like the re. Like I bet you the thief is just another one of these guys. I mean, but they yeah, just we kept chase that. thieves in this level. You were correct about that. Yes, but. and I'm saying they're in this level. In the, is this the first time? This is the first time you see an enemy like that in this so game. So he's yes. probably all thieves are probably just these guys, but they just got rid of these guys since obviously they're from like this. But they kept the thieves because they're iconic. The from Spyro Two. The good one, they say. That's the uh, what, what I'm saying is that the um, no, I'm just kidding, because I don't even like the it blue that much. the blue thieves from the original game, right? That have like the giant oh and sort of so heads. They were in Spyro One. Yeah, we chased a okay, bunch. Okay, so of them. I'm wrong. And then in Spyro Three, they bring back those particular kinds of thieves for that game. And then they come back in Spyro Four. Like there was so a level where we the, saw a bunch it's of the, blue it's thieves. It's the converse. Yes. So this this, this is the odd one out. Okay. So thieves are already around, and they made this world. I think to suit the thieves, not very well. It just. Looks I mean, like the a hippos are the people constantly. who live here. Well, the, the, all the thieves, these guys. There's a different fucking race of enemy and a race of good guy each time. It's always the ones that I want to win that end up losing. We know this, but what I'm saying is these, this, these guys. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, I don't know what it says that thieves. First, you got Bomo. Then you have thieving, conniving Arab, Arab gentleman, as George Bush might say. I'm not gonna join the Kyoto Protocol. <laughs> Fuck. Well, Michael, we. I think we're the first and the best when it comes to making fun of George Bush. I'm not even talking about it. George Bush Jr. I'm talking we about Cena. We did it. We did it. We did it. First the Donald Trump impression, and now and now this. Now the Spyro, George can Bush. you help me find all the particles? If you don't vote for me, you're a fool. A fool. A stupid fool with a big fat. I make a lot of sacrifices. And a dumb face. Like I've made money. And you know what? And you know what? I've made jobs. You know what I'm I inspired. Made you know what I'm inspired by? It's because. You know my my favorite internet an animator, Psychic Pepelinos. Exactly, Psychic Pepelinos. You know him. It's because he does a hilarious don. He's 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 like really into like history. He's into history, but in a very specific way. But anyway, he's also into like politics too, to a degree, more so than a lot of people are just like just never talking about politics. But um. He does a hilarious Donald Trump impression, and uh, there's even a video of it. Uh, a Team Fortress 2 machinima, actually, which are really hit or miss for me. But this one's funny. It's called the Great Trum Trumby. It's on Lyle McDouchebag's channel. That Did you know funny. that The Simpsons that predicted Donald Trump's campaign? They really? Yeah. Donald Trump specifically? Yes. I, bet, I could even see The Simpsons giving him the idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they don't probably... think they're making fun of the... They don't believe that I could be president. They're wrong. Because you know what? Everybody else running for president, they're fat. And they're lazy. And they're stupid. They're in their low I, they didn't energy. have to work for their... I'm gonna have to go sleep on place that. place in the world like I did. You're going with to be... With a small the, loan of one million dollars. With a small loan of a few million dollars. <laughs> I thought it was just one million. Like he's, I think he says it to you. In fact, I think Zach, Psychic Pebble, Pebbles, recently for his streams, um, recently I, whenever somebody donates, he plays that sound clip. <laughs> plays what sound clip? It's a small loan of a million dollars. Really helps you out, or whatever. Um, so, Donald Trump every time. If, any, if anybody doesn't know what Psycho Pebbles is, maybe you know what Hellbenders is. And if you don't, then you won't probably know who he is. But he's funny. Or if you know what Sleepy Cabin is, he's a member of Sleepy Cabin. And the other person who's a part of Sleepy Cabin that people probably know are 
probably either know Oni and G, Chris and Neil, or you probably know Stamper, at least, if nothing else, the voice actor or, or the narrator from Battle Block Theater. Stamper has an amazing voice, and so does Zach. They're hilarious. Hey kids, next but time every, we're having a barbecue. Everybody in fact, we're having it right fucking place. now. <laughs> in fact, we're having it right fucking now. Do 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 do. And it has like the fucking oh, everything they make is fucking well, not everything. I'm sitting here sucking the dicks. But that being said, they are funny. They're funny gentlemen, all of them, in like a unique way. Which is why I'm sad that that sort of it's it was technically a company they started a company and had an office and everything but they also have gone their separate ways and moved out and let enough people left one by one that it's dissolving dissolving i don't know what the name of it is but they're still working so michael you gotta catch these wowie thieves wowie dr wowie hey michael nyeh 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 Nye, 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 nye. I bet you there's a French Canadian children's bush. show now about these thieves. There could be. It's a gift from all of us hippos. See, so you got a save point from Allison the fairy. <laughs> Her name is Zoe. That's what I said. Can you not Allison. hear with your brain? 